all right all right so this is another video on the uh, on that snapper the SR 1230 that rear engine um, you know I had you know gotten it running and I was just gonna to fine-tune and, and tweak all the settings for like the mowing deck and uh, just make sure everything is uh, operating the way it should uh, I know the the mowing deck, the blades are engaging great. I had sharpened the blade, uh, got the engine running, and it seemed like it was uh, it was running okay. But I found out every time when I crank it up, and I'd shut it down, and then I'd try to crank it again, and it would it was like it was misfiring and backfiring. And it turns out while it's running, and when I cut it off. Uh, I don't know if it's happening while it's running or, you know, when I'm shutting it, shutting it down, but it keeps shearing the flywheel key. Uh, I haven't taken it apart right now because uh, this will be my third time. Uh, and I'd almost bet that flywheel key is sheared off again. So what I'm going to do... And I, I looked up the part numbers and everything and you know cross reference for that for the key and I had the right key but the ones I had bought uh, I bought them in bulk you know I forget how many of them were in a pack 12 or 20 or whatever and I've used them on just the regular you know five up to you know five and a half six the six two five six fives and six seven fives maybe even the seven two fives but and they worked great but on this one up to 12 horsepower it just keeps shearing that key so what I'm gonna do to experiment so I went and got the official Briggs and Stratton uh, flywheel keys that this engine calls out for so I'm gonna take all this stuff off again I'm gonna put this you know the the Briggs and Stratton key in you know crank it up and see what it does see if it keeps shearing these things off because um, I have a sneaky feeling that the ones that I bought in bulk I probably wouldn't go over you know 8 horsepower 10 horsepower max um, but I think after that they're just going to be shearing off I just want to see if this Briggs and Stratton one is going to hold up to what this engine's calling for so let's let's get her done I'm gonna take this off first and and see if that is the case see if it's sheared the, the key again all right so here we go again I guess I won't uh, won't make you sweat through while I'm taking all this off but uh, once I get it off we'll we'll take a look down there and look at the flywheel okay so I got it all off and sure enough see there's there's the keyway here and here so as I thought it just keeps shearing that key so I'm gonna take that sucker off put in the Briggs and Stratton factory key and see what happens There we go. Here's the official. Hopefully that'll work.
All right. And don't forget that is how I kept uh, the cylinder here from moving back and forth. I just stuffed this thick nylon rope in there when the piston's back and uh, I was able to stuff all this in there so when the piston starts moving forward it'll stop without uh, damaging any components. Let's get all this out of there and put the spark plug back on and we'll see if it'll crank. All right, so here's the big test. Everything's all back together. It's got gas. Hopefully the battery's not dead. It's just been sitting here. We'll see if it'll crank up and I'll do it a couple of times and see if it's gonna shear that, that flywheel key again. shutting it off and on, make sure it's Time. I'm trying to adjust the carburetor while I'm doing this. It's just that exhaust pipe, it just gets so freaking hot with my hand trying down in there trying to adjust the carburetor. But uh, let's see if it'll just keep cranking.
so far it's holding up. By now the, the other flywheel keys were already breaking apart. So that was the trick. These are the Briggs and Stratton. You can see the part number. So this specifically asks for the 22, what is that? 22698S, something like that. I don't have my glasses on. Um, and the 5002, you can see it here in the corner. So when before, I had bought these in bulk and it has the correct part numbers on there and they look to be the same size all that good stuff but they will just not handle the higher horsepower engines and when I say, when I say higher I probably wouldn't go over 8 horsepower with these right here so on a regular push mower and all that stuff I think is fine um, but when you get up to you know 10, 12, and 14 you know, I would go with the regular Briggs and Stratton. Yeah, so that was it. Uh, I wanted to get this done before it uh, before it gets too hot out here. It's supposed to be 105 or 106 or something, but uh, but that got her done. It was uh, just the quality of the uh, flywheel key. Make sure you get the brand name if you're going to go with the higher horsepower. So. So that's about it. Uh, everything else, I'm just gonna put the covers and everything back on, you know, the mowing deck. Um, I was gonna go through and tweak everything, but it really didn't need it. I mean, everything is working great on it. I just need to uh, adjust the carburetor, <coughs> which is kind of tough, because it's right next to that exhaust pipe, and it is hot. I mean, it, it's really hard to get in there and do any adjustments when, uh, once that thing gets hot and it sure is freaking loud you know but uh, but I guess with this muffler yeah looks like I could take this cover off here <clears throat> and maybe uh, fill it full of that uh, the muffler what is it the the steel wool looking stuff you know you can stuff in there maybe that'll quiet it down but uh, uh, I think that's it. Well, one thing I have not done is just reconnect all the safety switches and all that stuff that were clipped off before. So, uh, I don't know if I'll do another video on that. I don't know if you want to watch me uh, splice together some wires. But, uh, but other than that, I think that is it. It's at least for this video. I just wanted to show you the flywheel key and and it took uh, I think that was my third shot at it um, but that's it so what can I say but just thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video